Hey all, it's Linda. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing another In The Will I Buy It series. So this series was started by Samantha March here on YouTube. I'm going to be looking at all upcoming or very recently released makeup, skincare, hair care, just what's new on the market, letting you know whether or not I plan to purchase it. So I am on kind of a permanent low buy. Last year was my very first low buy year and I did really well. This year I'm already doing questionable. But seriously, it is still worlds better than I was doing. Not gonna lie, I did place an order at Ulta about 20 minutes ago, but it's not for anything brand new. It's literally just refilling stuff that I had run out of. But I am really curious to look at this list. I do know I do have one very large thing coming to me soon that I did purchase, but I'm sure we're gonna get into that. So what I do is I'm gonna scooch over and put pictures on the screen of everything that I'm chatting about. If there are links to any of these products, everything will be in the description box down below if you wanna go shopping yourself. I want you to tell me what you plan on buying, if anything, or what is just such a turnoff to you because like 90% of the time, these videos wind up being an anti-haul and a lot of me basically screaming into the ether who the F is responsible for this thing. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, this first thing I think is interesting, but not to me, not for me, okay? So Fenty Beauty coming soon has some new matchsticks and also lip stains coming out. These are all in very, very bright, vibrant, like popsicle kind of colors, right? So we've got like bright coral or hot pink, things like that. And just, this is, this is not my vibe. This is not my vibe at all. There are some people who this will look amazing on. People who really like a vibrant, almost like neon cheek, they're probably going to go crazy for this. I am just not one of those people. I, I don't know. It just doesn't do it for me. Hot pink lips to me, on me, always scream like, I don't know, the, the chick from the 80s who just came from a concert seeing the Go-Go's and is now going into a mall to see Tiffany. Does anybody else remember when Tiffany did a mall tour? How old are you, Linda? I'm old enough to remember that Tiffany did a mall tour. This does just say that it's coming soon to their website and other retailers. It does not give a price. It does not give a release date. So that's kind of all the info I got. This is available now. So Sol de Janeiro of the famous Boom Boom Cream and I have everything that is Boom Boom Cream scented because it is probably my favorite smell in the world, has come out with four new perfume. I'm sorry, I lied, excuse me, three new perfume mists for the summer. One is called When in Rio and it is wild bergamot and vanilla amber. The second one is called Do Not Disturb and it is mimosa flower and nude musk. What the, these words that perfume companies make up, nude musk, nude musk. Okay, what does that smell like? I'm picturing the musk the scent that comes off of a nude body. Okay, so when you're nude, you haven't always just had sex, but sometimes you have just had sex. And I think we all know the smell that comes after you've had sex. So that's what I'm picturing do not disturb smells like. And finally, bikini season, which smells like guava nectar and sunlit orchid, sunlit. Like what does sunlight smell like? You, I want this as my job. I want to be the person who describes perfume scents because I'm gonna be like, ladies and gentlemen, this new water bottle has scents of disco ball fever with just a hint of champagne foundation and notes of the skin that a snake peels off when it's molting. And people will be like, oh my God, I completely, completely need that champagne sk snake skin molt thing. I need, I need that. I forgot about the disco ball fever. They need that too but I just don't understand where they come up with this crap. But anyway, these are $24 each. These are things I would have to smell in person. I cannot personally buy perfume smell unsmelled. I don't know about you all. I know a lot of people do order perfumes online, but I have to smell it with my body chemistry because my body can turn the most lovely perfume into inside out dumpster dog. So I just, I need to try it on myself. All right, here's something I was not interested in, but then I became very interested in it and I blame Heather Austin. So this is the new Ritual Defi Three Drop Weightless Serum Foundation. When she tried this, she immediately messaged me and said, this is a foundation for you, okay? Because it is super lightweight, it is super hydrating, and it is very, very dewy. I do have dry skin and I prefer a more luminous, a dewy foundation. I do not wear matte foundations. 
This sounds right up my alley. So smooth weightless formula, easy to apply as a serum, medium coverage, softly diffused, subtly luminous finish. So it's just supposed to be buildable, which I really like. I prefer a buildable light to medium coverage foundation. It's the texture says lightweight oil, never sticky, never greasy, never drying. It is fragrance free and it has subtle scents of jojoba and marula oils. $42 each. Now, I have had some crap luck with serum foundations in the past, I will say, like the Ilia Super Serum Skin Foundation. It just didn't blend well on me. So this is another one. I wish I could try it like on my hand just to see how it blends, but I am very curious about this one. And it retails for $42 and there are 24 shades. I don't think that's a bad shade range either. So I am curious. Okay, so here is another one. This is out now. Glamlight has come out with a Scooby-Doo Part 2 collection. So they did have a Part 1, uh, which I did review two of the palettes from that collection. They came out with Part 2. I bought the whole thing. I bought the whole thing. It has been so long since I have wanted to try an entire collection, and this is one I needed to try. Now, there were items I wanted to try more than others, but I still, like, with the discount that you got when you purchased the whole set, plus using affiliate codes, like, it was just a no-brainer. So, for this kit, we have a 25 color palette. We have a four-piece eye brush set with synthetic bristles. The mystery, make, the mystery machine makeup bag for $18.00. I am very interested in the fact that the makeup bag was the first thing to sell out. I got it and I was really curious about it and I really want it because it's so cool looking, but it's sold out. There is a lip scrub and mask duo and it's supposed to smell, I think like graham crackers, which I'm pretty pump pumped about. There's the Daphne lip kit, which is pink with glittery uh, lip gloss. There's the Velma lip kit, super curious about that, which has orange iridescent glitter lip gloss and terracotta soft matte lipstick. I'm so excited. There is a mirror with Scooby Dooby Doo on it. Uh, there is the Daphne and Velma blush duo for 14. Now this whole collection, the whole collection came out to like a little over $100 once there was the original discount. And then I put a, an affiliate code on top of that. So I'm really excited. I don't know when it's coming. There will be a full review on my channel once it all comes in. I'm away for vacation next week, which is when I'm convinced it's going to show up and I won't be able to get it to you as quickly as I'd like, but I'm gonna get it to you as fast as I can. I am really pumped. I'm really pumped. Is it weird that one of the things I'm more pumped about is the graham cracker lip scrub? I freaking love graham crackers. Oh, this is kind of interesting. It's not something I'm gonna buy, but I am still interested. So this is the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Shift Plumping Lip Trio. This balm reacts with lips natural pH levels, creating a personalized shade of pink. Um, now I don't see any, it says plumping, but I don't see anything about the whole plumping aspect of it. Like I wonder if it's the tingly kind or if it just makes your lips look juicy because they're really shiny. $39, yeah, I mean, it says it drenches the lips in moisture to smooth the looks of lines and make lips appear fuller. Okay, so I don't think it has, you know, like the cinnamon oil or anything in it to make your lips tingle or burn how I like it. But $39 for three of these, they look super shiny. Really, really shiny, really pretty. It's just not my vibe. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna say no. This is gonna be one of those cases of like, is it interesting? Sure, kind of, but I'm not gonna buy it. So uh, there is a new matte revolution shade from Charlotte Tilbury called Coronation Red. Deep crimson matte red lipstick for a royal kiss of color, $38. Now, Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks are worth the price to me. The quality is really, really good, but like it's a red lipstick. It's a red lipstick. Now, if there's nothing interesting to me about the formula or anything like that, so if you need a red tube of lipstick, you can get one for a lot less than $38 that will be good quality. I will say that. And I do have a whole lot of high-end expensive lipsticks. But red for me, like, I don't know. I feel like reds, there are certain undertones, right? You've got your orange undertones, your blue, your pink, your orange, your blue, your pink. And then those are just gonna be of a certain quality. So I don't know. I mean, the tube is really pretty. It's got like, can't tell if it's little fake rhinestones on it or, okay, wait a second. Okay, I'm sorry. You know what? I'm sort of gonna take it back. With that lipstick, 100% of the proceeds are going to the Prince's Trust. This is a charity in the UK founded by King Charles III to help vulnerable young people get their lives on track. It supports 11 to 30 year olds who are unemployed or struggling at school and at risk of exclusion. 
Many of the young people helped by the trust face issues such as homelessness, mental health problems, or trouble with the law. Okay, you know what? If it is going to a good cause, especially that 100% of it is going to a good cause, damn, okay, I'm not going to be purchasing it myself, but I do take back some of the snarkiness on it, like, like this much of it. This is another one of those things that's available now. It looks really cool, but it is not my vibe, okay? This is the new lavish collection from ColourPop. So everything is purple, everything is lavender. Very cool toned, lots of silvers, lots of lavender, lots of sparkles. So with this collection, there is a pressed powder palette for 14, a super shock highlighter for 12, uh, so glossy uh, lip glosses for eight dollars each and super shock shadows there are three of them three this is three this is not three for seven dollars each it looks very pretty it is very much not my style I will say that I don't wear these like light purples with sparkles in them that's just it I, I don't like that on me now one thing I will say if you didn't watch my last video for the month of May, ColourPop did give me a coupon code and it's Glitter Fallout and that gets you $5 off a purchase of 25 or more. Now, it will work on some things, it won't work on others, but it is worth a shot if you wanna to try to get some money off. You can try to use my code for $5 off 25 plus. Okay, I'm a little confused by this. I'm a little confused. This is available now and it's by Essence, okay? They came out with three bronzing sticks and they're called Baby Got Bronze, okay? There are three different shades. There is Mocha Me Crazy, which is warm golden undertone for tan or deep skin tones. There's Cinnamon Spice for warm golden undertone for light and medium skin tones. And then there's Moon Dust, which is a cool undertone for fair or light skin tones. That sounds good, right? Sounds pretty good. Look at these swatches. That middle one straight up looks like concrete gray. Now I understand a lot of people like a cool tone to their bronzer or to their uh, contour and grayish type feels, that cool toned feel is sometimes a good thing, but that's straight up ass concrete gray. And on all four of those models with all four different skin tones, it looks like concrete gray. Who is responsible? Who is responsible? I think that looks like crap. I actually think that almost all three shades look like crap. Like the, there's gray, there's a very, very deep one, which I'm sure is great for deep skin tones. And that lightest one I think is probably still too orange for the pale people, this is a no. This is probably the first hell no of the will I buy it. Like, do we need like a check mark, a check box for the first time I say hell no? Because it's here. All right, so this is available now. Actually, this was available April 24th. Ace Beauté came out with four new eyeshadow palettes, all right? This is the floral collection. So we've got the Begonia, the Flora, the Fleur, and the Cala palette. Not a single one of these looked appealing to me. I don't know what it is about the color stories, but they all bothered me for one reason or another. Like there was something about each of them that bothered me and I don't like it. Now I will say I'm not a big fan of the long rectangle palettes a la like the Urban Decay Naked palettes. I'm not a huge fan of those, but just I don't know what it is, what it is about each color story that's just not appealing to me, but it isn't. Now, I do know that Ace Beauté reformulated a while ago and apparently the quality is like above and beyond. So if these color stories appeal to you, I definitely think that um, you should grab these because apparently they're amazing quality, but just the color story itself doesn't do it for me. We are in the Wayback Machine at this point. So this also is available now. It was available several weeks ago. This is the new Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette in Diffused Rose. So it's a finishing powder, a blush, and a highlighter. Now the finishing powder is very much like, um, I guess, a light neutral that has sort of a, a little yellow undertones, which does help to brighten for the most part. The highlighter is a light champagne and the, the uh, blush is a rose color. It's very pretty, but the thing is, with these, it doesn't have a price on here, but I know it's Hourglass. It's approximately, like, if it's the same price as everything else, it's approximately $2 million for the palette. Like, give or take a couple dollars here and there. I'm sure it's very nice. It is not something I need. I am not buying that. All right, we're gonna end with this one. This is one that intrigued me, but then I looked at it and went, I would never use it. It would be one of those things that would be so beautiful and I would use it once and I would never declutter it because it's so beautiful, but I would never actually use it, okay? So this is by Adept Cosmetics and this is the new Ketracel White Multi-Use Palette. And it has four shades featuring two creamy blendable iridescent multi-chrome highlighters 
two smooth powder iridescent multi-chrome highlighters with zero white cast. So it's very interesting looking to me. It's really, really beautiful and actually, oh, it's being restocked. It's stocking today. So the day that I'm filming this, which is May 4th, it retails for 68 which I know that a lot of work went into this because multi-chromes are not inexpensive. They are not cheap to make, but 68 is a little hefty. It's a little hefty for a palette that I don't think you're going to use like every, every week even. You know what I mean? I don't know. What do you think about this one? This one, again, it's like it has me intrigued and I want to play with it. I want to grab somebody's and play with it. Ooh, that sounds dirty. I just want to grab somebody's thing and play with it. Seriously though, this one is just really, really pretty, but I just know I wouldn't get enough use out of it to justify a $68 palette. So I think that's a good place to stop because I don't wanna go back too, too far. And of course, there are plenty of additional things coming out in the makeup world, in skincare, in perfume, in all of that. But I do only talk about cruelty-free products on my channel, so that's why you might not hear about some other brands that you might be curious about. But yeah, I hope that this was a good roundup and always I want you to let me know right now, what are you planning on buying? Tell me all the goods. What are you planning on not buying? Like what looks real crappy to you? Does the Scooby-Doo collection look crappy to you? Because if you think so, we're gonna fight out back at 3 p.m. I'm so excited to get that one though. I am so freaking excited to get it. I also have some additional makeup coming to me this week in PR and I can't believe it's coming to me in PR, but I can't wait to play with that for you all. But anyway, let me know all the good stuff and thank you so, so much for watching. Again, if you wanna pick up ColourPop stuff, it's only good for the month of May, so I can't help you after that as of right now, but my code GLITTERFALLOUT will get you $5 off your purchase of $25 or more if you wanna pick up that lavender collection. If you like this video, I would so love if you'd give it a thumbs up. That really helps out my channel. You all can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Those are all Glitter Fallout. And as always and forever, you are super freaking rock stars. I love you so much with my whole heart and I'll see you in the next video.